What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Universe Classics Wave 11, also known as the Kilowog Wave of Cat Matui. Um, yeah, really like this figure. I picked her up loose on eBay for $11. Uh, I thought it was a pretty decent price, her coming with both of her constructs. Uh, I already have Kilowog, so I just decided, you know, I might as well just pick her up loose and call it a day. Um, Kat Matui is, uh, I think, I believe it, this was her first six inch form figure. And it's a really nice figure. I actually really like it. I really like the, uh, the head sculpt a lot. I think they did a really good job. Um, if I had to nitpick something about the uh, the mouth, which I actually, you know what, I'll get to in a minute. But a uh, little backstory on Kat Matui. If you don't knew, know too much about her, um, basically when uh, uh, Sinestro went uh, to the, the yellow side, not the dark side, but the yellow side, um, went rogue. Uh, Kat Matui was actually his uh, replacement. So, there you go. A little bit of a backstory there in case you didn't know that. I did uh, do a little bit of a homework on her. So, And she does hold both of her constructs very nicely. I just want to point that out. Uh, with some, some constructs, you really just don't want to stay in the hand sometimes but her stick out or stay stick out stay in very nicely so don't have a problem there and obviously she's got some sort of uh, shield here which is pretty cool very unique way it's nice that they really did that Mattel did give us unique constructs I mean they could have given us some lame boat constructs like uh, you know giving everybody oh excuse me burp uh, given everybody similar constructs when they didn't really do that they tried to individualize every single character So and I thought that I think that's pretty cool It would be really cool if they they actually had given us some sort of like uh, San Diego exclusive or a New York comic-con exclusive of like a um, maybe just like a like a an exclusive like Hal Jordan or exclusive uh, Kyle Rayner, somebody like that. Uh, I would say more so Kyle if they did his 90s look and then gave us a like a big, uh, I don't know, let's call it like a 12 pack of just big constructs or just like one big massive construct that would just fit into his hand and you could just plug in. It would be like a, uh, I don't know, like a like a big plane or something like a plane construct or her something epic uh, a really cool construct would have been really cool uh, so you can, I mean you could just plug any lantern in there and just kind of boom this is like and do a nice display with that that would have been really cool for them to do it would have been a good idea but to none the, nonetheless we still got some nice constructs over the years um, like I said she's part of the Kilowog wave which I actually think is a very good build a figure and uh, so there you go. There's my little, those are my two cents right there. <laughs> but uh, on to the figure at hand here, or in hand, you could say both. Uh, her, her head does move side to side. Let's get to articulation. Her head does move side to side. Doesn't really move up or down. Just kind of does do a full 360 though. Uh, her arms do have a very nice range of motion going up and down. Can do a full 360. She's got a bicep swivel, a single bend at the elbow, which actually kind of hyper extends. So I guess you could go either way with the elbow if you wanted to. Um, and a wrist rotation. She does have an ab crunch, which does click kind of pop nicely a uh, little bit more of a range of motion than most women figures or female figures I should say it does have a waist swivel t-joint hips which go out mine are really loose I, I, I don't want to push it I'll just do that side there we go Let's put this side down oh boy there we go okay it does go up about that far and goes down goes forward nicely and not too much back because of the way her butt is sculpted there. Um, she does have an upper thigh swivel, a single bend at the knee, and an ankle hinge, which works nicely. Don't have any loose joints on her, don't have any problems. She stands nicely, very easily, and uh, yeah. Really like this overall look, too. I like that, uh, I like it when um, each superhero has their own look. And I, I like that even, you know, some, most of the Green Lanterns, really have their mo their own individual uh, logo on their chest or something like that. Something that, that differentiates each Green Lantern from each other. I mean, they all are Green Lanterns, but nobody wants to look the same. I mean, let's be honest here. So, it's pretty nice. 
do like it. Don't really have any problems with her paint apps. Uh, everything's pretty smooth, pretty nicely done. Uh, I actually think she's a really nice figure, and uh, her her ring here is sculpted. I'll try to get in as as much as possible. It is sculpted on her hand there. I believe it's just a regular lantern symbol. So there you go. And as far as her face goes, her face is very nicely done. I actually think it's a pretty pretty uh, a pretty face. I'll just say that. There we go. I was going to say pretty well done, but uh, I think it's a kind of a pretty face. So there you go. She's got a little bit of the open mouth syndrome. Maybe she's a little bit of a mouth breather. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, uh, she's got those, uh, those the, the uh, sideburns. So, but overall, I think the face is pretty well done. Maybe she looks a little bit surprised, or maybe like she just farted or something. I don't know. Maybe. But. Um, I think it's pretty well done, and uh, if I had to rate this figure, I'm probably going to give her an 8.5. I think she's pretty well done. She comes with two really cool constructs. She also, if you're interested in getting her mint on card, she does come with the Kilowog upper and uh, middle torso. Obviously, it's connected. This would be the upper and middle torso. So uh, that's what she comes with, and uh, yeah, I believe she's figure one in that wave, so... If you're if you're interested in that, or if you weren't sure which figure she was, that's that's what she is. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the DC Universe Classics Wave 11 Cat Matui figure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the flip side.